Hey, I'm Ashley with The Haircut Box. In this video, I'm going to teach you all the things you need to know to cut curly little girl's hair. Also, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I am gonna show you how to cut curly hair. Look how stinking cute this is. This is all natural. I love it so much. You can tell that it needs a good little trim. You're going to cut curly hair a little bit different than straight hair. First things first, to get the hair wet, part it where you normally would style. Now when you have curly hair, you don't want blunt cuts because you don't want them to look like they have a triangle. And when you cut blunt, it's going to add weight. I have them look at their knees, so their head is pointed down at this angle. Comb about an inch and a half section, just as big as your first knuckle. And then the hair that's not being cut, I usually just like to kind of comb to the side so I can keep a nice and clean partings. So there's my first section. Put their head down, make sure they're looking straight, and then push, put your comb in and put your fingers right behind the comb to hold with tension. And you gotta keep your head down. There we go. Keep your head down. Now leave a little bit out. See all those straggling ends? I'm going to, instead of doing a blunt cut with curly hair, you wanna turn your scissors to this angle and make little V cuts to the bottom of the hair. So you can see that that's a jagged straight line. Wherever the part is, take a little bit on one side of it and a little bit on the other side. So regardless if the part's in the middle or on either side, you're going to take a little bit on the part, comb this section straight up, put your fingers in. We're going to do some deep V cuts, deep, deep angle cuts. So you're going to cut at this angle for this middle mohawk section over to one side and take little sections from the hair. Ne never, ever, ever cut this part over the ear. This is your bottom length and we wanna keep that all the same. So it's okay if it falls out, pull it straight up and then match every to everything to this middle mohawk section, taking V cuts. So in curly hair, you wanna take V cuts because the more texture, the better. So then just Keep going all the way around the head, taking sections of the hair, combing it straight up and matching everything to this middle mohawk section. When you get to the back, you can just pivot around and use the same middle mohawk. Comb that straight up. You can see where I've cut and where I need to cut. Now, just because it's short and it actually is pretty curly, we're going to do one more layer around the back. Um, this is completely optional. If the hair is longer, I wouldn't do this, but if it's short, like if they're really little and uh, you really want those ringlets to bounce, I would do this section. Section out a, another piece in the back and then comb it straight out, running your fingers along that comb and you can either, this part you can either cut blunt or you can do angle. And then match everything up. So you're gonna have to take probably a section right here and then another section right here to make sure all of that is blended. Do another section that hasn't been cut and then take a little bit of hair that has been cut and comb that straight out. Now you'll have, you'll have all this hair wanting to get in there but just keep combing it till it's nice and smooth. And then take that off. And over the ear, once again, you've gotta be so careful not to take that bottom length off. So comb that and then make sure you're never taking this bottom section. You do not wanna cut that again. So that's where you start. That's where you start. So here is that bottom section right there can start cutting right at that point. And then comb it up again and then just keep that straight. Okay, right over the ear, take a little piece of what you have cut, little piece of what you haven't cut, and then up over the ear, this section once again, drop that out right there, and then cut, make a cut right here, and even that up. You can go all the way up making sure that there's a straight line. She doesn't have 
elastic hair. It's really fine, but it's just so cute and curly. So we're gonna try it. We might have to take a nap, huh? We might have to take a nap. We're gonna dry it and then we will come back and show you the finished product of what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna dry it all the way because I think a little bit of dampness in the hair will help it keep curling. Put a little clip in your hair. Do you wanna use my clip? No. I'm gonna use my clip for you. <laughs> can I take a, can I put my clip in your hair? Oh my gosh. So you can see right here, we've got these shorter layers that are keeping this bunchy. And then we wanted to keep this also curly. So that's why we cut the back layers. I don't think it needs any more work and you look adorable. <laughs> Do you like getting your hair cut? <laughs> you curly haired mamas. Curly haired. I am them. You moms with curly hair little girls, consider yourself lucky because this took me like 30 seconds to style and this is the cutest thing ever. So thank you for watching. Hope this helps. Um, if you have any more questions, make sure to send me a message.